sustainability and taxation and how these two ideas are intertwined. Whenever you talk about taxation, a lot of people will ask, well, why do we need to pay taxes anyway? And since this video is on sustainability, what does that have to do with taxation? Let's have a look at the first question. There are a number of reasons why governments may wish to levy taxation. One is to discourage some activities such as alcohol and cigarettes and encourage others with tax breaks. Taxes are also useful when regulating the economy. Taxes also help you distribute wealth between the rich and the poor, creating a fairer society for all. But ultimately, the primary reason is the most obvious, and that is to finance public spending. When we look at our second question on sustainability, we need to know what it is. There are many definitions of sustainability, but the most common one is to meet the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This has come out of the United Nations Brundtland Report in 1987 and has had a significant impact upon the way we think about the environment, but can it impact the way we think about money as well? The answer is absolutely. Every government needs to be able to find itself a sustainable form of public finance which means that the government will need to spend using sources of funds that are not going to take from the future somehow. So what are these options and more importantly are there any alternatives to taxation? In fact there are a number of ways that government can finance its public spending. It can borrow money, it can print money, it can spend using existing savings or it can levy taxation. Borrowing money is not particularly sustainable because if you borrow money today it means that you will have to pay it back at some point into the future. Likewise, printing money is not a great idea either because it often leads to high levels of inflation and economic distortions, which will affect the long-term sustainability of the entire economy. Spending any savings means that at first you must actually have some, and in any case, if you raid the piggy bank, it's gone forever. The final option is to levy a tax on the country's people and businesses. The idea of taxation might not exactly excite anybody, but it's part of our national responsibility and it really is a small price to pay for, to live in a society as wonderful as ours. The moral of the story is that ultimately there are no free lunches, not even for federal governments, and since income taxes are levied on income and not capital wealth, this means that we should always have enough for next year, and we can eat the fruits of our labour without having to actually cut down the tree itself. This means that taxation is really the only form of sustainable finance and is absolutely necessary to guarantee the long-term prosperity of our nation. This video is educational in nature and does not constitute advice. For more information you can always go to the ATO website which is easy to read and packed full of information or alternatively see your local registered tax agent. Happy study guys! For more information you can go to tetracarbon.com or follow me on Twitter.